<clears throat> using a background mask. So when we have a background mask, we typically want to have text being over the top of other uh, items. In this case, you can see where the lines are, are kind of right over the top of this object. And we want to mask it out so that the word text masking is separated from these lines. So to do this, uh, we're going to go and double click on our text. And you're going to see where, where we have our text ribbon bar comes up. And over here in our style settings, we have a mask command. When we click on the mask command, it says use a background mask. So I'm going to turn that on and it has a border offset so this is uh, a measurement of this number times our height of our text and then we're going to we could use the option of having a fill color if we want and I'm not going to do that for now I'm just going to say OK Oop. and I'm going to close and you can see it did put it in there so you see how it puts a border around there I'm going to double click on this again and I'm going to go up the mask again and you can see oh it did 1.5 I'm going to do say 2 this time and I'm going to click on use the background border color and this time we this time we got a bigger mask around the item so when I click on it you can see that I can move my height over a little bit, my ruler over a little bit. And now we go up the mask. And so the larger the number, the more area I'm going to have around my text. If I go down the one, it's going to fit right up to the text. Okay. So it just blocks out the area of the text. And when I go into the masking, uh, I can go over here and turn this on and off and I can change colors and I'm going to say green I'll say OK and I'll close this text and you can see now I can have those various colors of background colors but this is used typically in things in which we want signage or something like that to stand out against the let's say a wall, if we have a sign on a wall type thing. Um, so we'll usually have a nice border of like, you know, 1.75 or something like that. Uh, I'll turn off that, let's see, all right. And then we'll close it. Oh. And so I want that on, 1.5 let's say and we'll say OK and there we go so we get this masking around there anytime uh, we want that uh, you can turn that use fill color blink and close so there we have our background mask uh, it's in our text editor in our style area and we typically will do these background masks for, you know, when we want particularly text is hard to read when there's line work going over the top of it or under it and we want to block it out so that text is easy to read.